Hello students, welcome to One Plus One channel. Next in our video la 10th standard chapter 6 exercise 6.2 first sum paaka porom. In the problem la pathinga find the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from a point on the ground which is 30 meter away from the foot of the tower of height 10 root 3 meter. That's the question we understand. It's a very simple concept. We understand the diagram. Understand it, simple. Find the angle of elevation. We have the angle of the tower. Of the top of a tower. That's a tower. So, we assume AC is the tower first. AC tower. In the top of a tower, the angle of elevation. The angle of elevation is the angle of the tower. So, find the angle of elevation of the top of the tower from a point on the ground from the so it is the foot from the point on the ground which is 30 meter away from the foot of the tower that is a tower the tower is and the point is 30 meter away so what is the tower in the foot of the tower that is the tower and the point is 30 meter so 30 meter is 30 meter so, here we see the top of the tower. Here we see the top of the tower. What is the angle of elevation? This is a simple concept. So, which is 30 meter away from the foot of a tower of height 10 root 3. The tower is height 10 root 3. So, if we have the tower height, we can see the foot of the distance. We can see the angle of elevation. So, I have AC of the tower and AB of the ground. So, what is the angle of elevation? डायग्राम पूरी था और टावर के टॉप ऑफ द टावर का पाकर एंगल ऑफ एलिवेशन कंडो पड़ी किनो अंदर फुट ऑफ द टावर अदा दान दा टावर उड़ा आड़ी पागम बंदे आड़ी पागत लंदे टेन मीटर आवेला उर पॉइंट रुक सॉरी थर्टी मीटर आवेला उर पॉइंट रुक अपने द जॉइन आइड मा अपने इंगेर द पाकर एंगल ऑफ ए now, this is theta. Now, this is theta. This is the opposite side. This is the adjacent side. This is the hypotenuse. Correct? This is 90 degrees. This is the hypotenuse. This is the opposite side. This is the adjacent side. Correct? Now, the hypotenuse is the same. Only the opposite and adjacent is the same. The opposite and adjacent is the same. Then, we will do the same as tan ratio. 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 So, tan is equal to opposite by adjacent. Now, I will do the same as tan ratio. So, tan is equal to opposite side 10 root 3 by adjacent side 30. Now, we will do the simplification. 1s are 3s are, 10s are, 10s are, 10s are. Now, the mean is root 3 by 3. Now, tan theta is root 3 by 3. That is the value. That is why we are doing it. Now, we are doing the denominator and numerator. Same number. But here is the root. This is not the root. Then, root 3 is root 3 into root 3. One root 3 is root 3 into root 3. Now, let's see. 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 So, now root 3 is the same thing. This 3 is root 3 into root 3. This is the same thing. So, tan theta is equal to 1 by root 3. This is the same thing. This is the same thing. Now, there are root 2 and 3. Root 3 is the root 3 into root 3. This is the same thing. This is the same thing. This is the same thing. So, tan theta is 1 by root 3. So, the trigonometric ratio is 1 by root 3. The theta value is 30 degrees. So, tan theta is 1 by root 3. If you have a table, tan theta is 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree. You have to say this is 0, 1 by root 3, 1, root 3, infinity. This is tan theta. Tan is 30 degree, 1 by root 3, theta value is 30 degree. It is a very simple concept. If you use the trigonometric ratio, we will complete the exercise. If you use the trigonometric ratio, we will complete the exercise. If you use the exercise, we will complete the exercise. So, if you understand this sum, you will understand it clearly. So, thank you so much for watching students. Bye-bye.